We've plowed through the thick and treacherous rain to come to a dead stop on the deck of the USS Harry S. Truman. But the rain isn't stopping training exercises for the Navy's newest pilots, who have to land their F-18 Hornets on the deck of the Truman day and night, even in weather like this. Which is why one of the most important places on the ship is here the Meteorological and Oceanographic Center, or METOC for short, a team under the watchful eye of Lieutenant Commander Thornton. They call him Black Cloud. Meet Brooke Ellison. Since the age of 11, her life has been anything but easy. I was hit by a car, which was an accident that left me paralyzed from my neck down. She refused to give in, fought her way to the top, to Harvard, an undergrad, masters, and PhD. Christopher Reeve even made a movie about her. We're going to Mars. Well, not yet, but soon. And here at DC's National Geographic Museum, we learn the most terrifying news of all. We're all Martians. Sailing, just me, a ship, the weather as my guide, and some kids. Wait, what the heck, is this a good idea? Yes, DC Sail teaches kids to harness the elements with a scholarship for those less privileged like Fortune, who's now an instructor. Hi. It's changed my life. Dr. Ari Kaufman is someone who likes to see life from a different angle. Here at Stony Brook University, we're inside the immersion cabin, a 360-degree way to visualize data in 3D. We're up close and personal inside someone's colon. Well, virtually. But sometimes the data like this is so big and complex, you might miss something if you can't get up even closer. This is the reality deck. A $2 million room of wall-to-wall -wall screens that enables you to see not only the big picture, but up close and in detail too. The reality deck may make big data smaller and the effects of weather easier to visualize, but there are some objects that will always remain larger than life. Rick Adams, The Weather Channel.